Hello YouTube. Today we will be covering the, um, how to install Bucket 1.8 server, which includes how to download it and how to update it. So, first we're going to need to download um, something called Git for Windows. Um, the link is in the description and you'll see it right here. The second thing we need is to download and install Java's JDK. And if you don't know how to install that, I have a video covering that, and you can go do that and then come back to this. Reason we need it is because um, we need to compile um, a jar, which is a Java application, and, and to download the bucket server. So after you have JDK, download Git and go through the install process. Just keep clicking next. You don't need to configure anything just go with the base options after you have that installed um, download another the other link in my description called buildtools.jar and after you have it downloaded create a new folder I'm calling mine server jars because you'll be downloading bucket and spigot jars and place it in there it I'll have to tell you it needs to be in a brand new folder or directory and it can't have anything in it because it'll be installing into there so here we have this and next thing we'll have to do is we'll right click it and click git bash this is like a command prompt but for um, git so now we're going to have to um, find our java directory which um, let me create a new window for that and we have to find the place we installed Java's JDK to. So go to your main or wherever you installed it I guess. Mine is going to be in my main disk drive and in program files Java and here it is JDK. Now copy this and paste it in like a notepad or something. I'm using notepad plus plus because we'll need to use it for what we're doing. Now in your git bash window or your command prompt, type in in all caps java underscore score home equals put a open quote and we're going to have to type this exactly as it is here. So c colon put a backwards slash that is very important because I mean it's it only knows the backward slash. Program files at least for me so wherever you install yours java backward slash jdk 1.8.0 underscore 20 and close quote then you will type in java dash jar there's no space here and the name of the jar which is build tools dot jar now it's going to go ahead and download everything in this like a storage place that has all the bucket um or has um a bucket jar in it which is the 1.8 version. So now this will take a while cuz there's a lot to download and it's going to download everything into the folder that you created. It's it'll take um probably 10 minutes to do. So I'm not going to um wait it out with this video. I'm going to stop the video here and continue when it's finished. Okay? I'll see you then. Hey guys, I'm back and we have just finished the installation. So as you can see here, you know it um, worked properly if you get this build success and you come back to this um, prompt again. Um, you can see here it took um, one minute and fifteen seconds which is actually really short I'm not sure why I do have fast internet so that may be why anyway so just you can close that and now go back into the folder you had it installed in right here and you can see you have all of these um, things and the original build tools dot jar so get bucket you're gonna have to go into craft bucket and go to target and here you'll see a snapshot of the latest one which is 1.8 release point 1 
So you can copy that. I would recommend you not to um, cut it or drag it because um, I don't know. I think I had an error last time I tried to change something, so don't do that. Just click copy, and now you'll move in. You'll paste it into your bucket um, wherever you store your bucket server. I don't have one, so I'll create one. New folder. Bucket 1.8 server. <coughs> yeah. And paste it in here. Right there. Now, now there you go. And you have it right here. I mean, so now you just start it. So to um, run it, you, you, you're supposed to open up a command prompt and type in a code. But to make it easier, just um, right click and create a text file, text document, and name it start. Now open it up and you can edit it. And you should put in Java jar like we did last time. Oh, my bad, not here. My bad. First, you put in xms. 1024m x mx 1024m minus jar and this is the minimum RAM that you'll use to start the server and it's the maximum this is only for home hosted but um, if you actually have a ser um, somewhere online hosted you don't need to do this I'm sure it has its own automatic method and You'll probably need to need to rename this to like craft bucket, so you don't have to type in the full name. So I'm gonna put in craft bucket dot jar, and I'll save it. And you should save as a um, all files and as a bat bat, which is uh, it runs command prompt pretty much and allows you to um, just click it and it does it automatically. So save, X out, and when you start it, boom, there you go. Loading libraries and craft bucket should begin. Now I need to accept this by the way. You need to do this with um, you know, servers in general. So I'm going to start it again. There we go. I'm gonna allow access. Preparing start region. And I'm gonna go ahead and launch Minecraft. So now I'm gonna log in as my 1.8 profile here. Play. And we should be able to connect. And here we go waiting for it to load and let's go connect to localhost as it's hosted on our server hosted on our computer I mean and there we go see 1.8 and I have created a 1.8 bucket server so yeah that's all um thanks for watching and hope it helped you um create a 1.8 server because I know that's very popular nowadays and it's kinda tough with this new whole bucket issue with the D D DMCA or takedown and the copyright issues and whatnot. so cool I shall see you guys later with how to install different plugins and how to use them cool